Hi everyone, it's Bruns here and welcome back to another video and today we are going to be doing a slight different video from what we normally do. As you know, I normally play the demon, I don't really play survivors, but I really would like to see more of my fellow survivors doing better at the game, because often I see survivors making the same mistake again and again and again, and those are the matches that I will definitely win. I do of course lose some matches like everyone else, and they are usually against stronger teams that are probably pre-made and have good communication and they also probably stick to the tips I'm about to give you. So these are the five biggest mistakes survivors do that you should stop doing right now if you want to win more. Number one, a support survivor wandering off. I can't remember how many times the match has started and then I find a lone survivor doing some looting or looking for a map piece and it's a support. It's either Cheryl or fair enough Pablo is great. If you're a Pablo I guess you have an advantage there because the demon really can't see you on the map or even running in front of the demon the demon can't see your fear level so you're not colorful at all but if you're a Cheryl or if you are a support Ash then you really want someone else next to you to give you some help in case the demon is on to you just remember that as support units you can't dodge as much as hunters and you do less damage overall so if you do want to go on an expedition to find some loot and map pieces take someone with you mistake number two has to be to do with dodging so most people dodge sideways which is good and a lot of people dodge back Backwards. And if you're dodging backwards, I know exactly where you're going. I'm just going to keep chasing you. If you've gone sideways, I just need to turn a little bit and I see where you're going. Now, if you dodge towards the demon, then I have to turn 180 degrees, which means I will lose sight of you for a few seconds and that can give you a huge advantage. Those could be valuable seconds that you could use to reload your weapon, take some aim and just shoot or even look for a teammate, heal or whatever else you can think of. Mistake number three is survivors not using cars. Again, this is another one of those mistakes that I see on every match. So I find a survivor and then I'm chasing them and I keep putting pressure on them. There's a car right there. They ignore it. They keep running through the woods or they find the next house. But there's a car right there. If you get in the car, I can't get to you. Yes, I could possess the car, but then if you shoot the car once or twice, I'm out of the car and then I'll be depleted of my energy. I can't repossess the car. Get in the car, move away. The fourth mistake I see people doing has to be too much looting. Now, I have seen some really good teams that I have lost against that have done quite a bit of looting and when it gets to doing points I am past level 10 and I do feel I have an advantage however they do stick together throughout the looting and then they stick together when they're on points so they can cover for each other. If you are an inexperienced player, if you're playing with randoms, I would just be wary about too much looting. Go to the objective, stick to your teammates, don't wander off, use cars. Which leads me to the fifth mistake see people doing which is not rushing the objective so this is an obvious one the demon will get stronger throughout the game and so will survivors if they find chests with pink half however if you just rush the objective and i have seen some videos of people doing this the demon will be really low level and if you guys just stick together by the time you get to the dark ones the demon will not be high level enough to take you on that will dramatically increase your chances of winning the match so rush the objective and make the demon eat dust and these are the five biggest mistakes i see people doing in matches and if if you enjoyed this video please drop me a like and subscribe and i will see you all the next time